In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a JavaScript error occurred in the main process. So if you're getting this JavaScript error, then there's basically a couple of different ways to solve this. The first solution is just to head over to the start menu on your computer, search for settings and click on the settings window. In the left hand side, click on apps, click on installed apps. And then what you need to do is find the application called C++. So if you're on Windows 11, you can just search for C++ in the search box. And what you're looking for is this application here, Microsoft Visual C++, and in brackets, it should say X64. So we're gonna click on the three horizontal dots next to this, click on modify, and then you'll get this window pop up, click on repair. And then you'll just need to wait a few minutes while this goes and repairs this application. Now, once that's finished, you can check to see if that solved your issue. If it's still not working and you have Discord installed on your computer, then it could be an issue relating to this. So what you'll need to do is head over to your start menu and just search for task manager and click on the task manager window. In the search box at the top, just go and search for Discord. And if you see any processes here relating to Discord, then what you'll need to do is just close them down by right clicking and selecting end task. Now, as you can see, my Discord is completely shut down so I can just close out of this window. And once you've done that, you'll then need to head back over to the settings on your computer, come back over to apps in the left hand side, click on installed apps. And this time, just go and locate the Discord application on your computer. If you do have the Discord application installed, then you'll just need to go and uninstall it from this section here. Once you've done that, come over to the start menu and search for CMD. Right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator. In this window, type in GP update space forward slash force and hit enter. Now, once this is updated the computer policy, you can close out of this window, head over to your start menu and search for services and click on the services window. Now, the last thing we need to do is scroll all the way down this list until you see the Windows quality audio video service. Now, what you can do is just press the letter Q on your keyboard and it should bring up this one here, which is the quality Windows audio video experience. Double click on it like so, change the startup type to automatic and make sure the service status is running by clicking on this start button. Once you've done this, press apply and OK, and then you can close out of this window. Now, finally, you can head over to the Discord website and you can just download the Discord application. You can then restart your computer and that should have fixed any issues you were having. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.